A lot of people are quite scared of IT. How do I go into a PC? What is email? What's the internet? But they see it as something quite alien, quite strange. They're afraid if they hit the keyboard, it's like to blow up. The anxiousness of wanting to be of today. Given that it's around so much, there must be a reason that they're not using it. If you haven't got access to technology these days, you are basically underprivileged. We've just come home after 25 years in six different countries where I've been photographer. who had exhibitions all over the world. I wanted to learn a bit more about computers. Didn't know a thing. <laughs> the hardest thing for me was the language. I hear people talk about a we. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> the course I did was very good. Cropping, enlarging, changing the colour. Well, I'm just learning all that now. There's lots of like media out there telling us to get online. And I think it's just overpowering. So if you can just at least demystify some of that information that's getting through to some of the students, I think they do feel empowered. Okay, so what I would recommend is we can... I started off, I couldn't even turn on a computer. So I started right from nothing. One of the things I liked about this course, it wasn't simply about targeting one specific audience. We had every age group and that helped um, in the actual classes as well. I enjoy the, the wonderful world of the computer. When you get to a certain age, you think to yourself, oh, I'm old, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. But that is the worst thing you can do. The tutor was very friendly and there were eight other people who were in the same position as me. Well, it was a complete beginner's class. People communicating together um, and to have some amazing equipment really helps. The grant from Microsoft enabled us to refurbish the centre. We had some quite uh, old and temperamental equipment before, but the nice thing was having some new equipment, you know, the kind that people really want to use and want to get involved in using. We make software donations right across the world in over 100 countries. Unlimited potential is Microsoft's uh, effort really to use our software and the skills of our people really to change lives and help people realise their full potential. Vital Regeneration is a great example of how Microsoft's unlimited potential can work in practice because there you've got this fantastic centre, it's very warm and welcoming. People are very friendly and it's easy for people to just walk in there. People need to see IT as part of everyday life, so people come along to a community event and they you know, sign up for some IT courses at the same time. And we find that actually networking in that IT to the, the, the wider sort of life of the community has been the real key to success with this project. It's good that they do classes for older people too. It gives you very alert and makes you feel nice. It's good for your well-being. With this room you share ideas, you make friends. I'm getting to know my little camera and my little camera's getting to know me. I don't think you can never stop learning. A place like that, it can give you confidence. With the computer, it's a whole new world and I love it. When you see somebody who just gets the chance to use high quality technology for the first time, suddenly find that actually it's easy and that they can do it. They just have to be shown the way and given that help and make that first step and the possibilities are endless.